Sons of pleasure, listen to me, and your daughters to give ear. You a sad and mournful story, as was ever told, shall hear. How you know his troops surrendered, and defense left, left the west. Then our forces quick assemble this invader to resist. <clears throat> Among the troops that marched to weary were the kings and volunteers. Captain Thomas, their commander, to protect our west frontiers. Tender was the scene of parting, mothers wrung their hands and cried. Maidens wept their love in secret, fathers strove their tears to hide. But there's one among that number, tall and grateful in his mien. Firm his steps. His looks undaunted, near a nobler youth was seen. One sweet kiss he snatched from Mary, begged his mother's prayers once more. Pressed his father's hand and left them for Lake Erie's distant shore. Mary strove to say farewell, James waved her hand, but nothing spoke. Goodbye, bird, may him protect you from the rest the parting broke. Soon they came where noble Perry had assembled all his fleet. There the gallant bird enlisted, Hoping soon the foe to me. Where is bird the battle rages? Is he in the strife or no? Now the cannon roar tremendous stare meet the furious foe. Ah, behold him, see with Perry, in the selfsame ship he fights. Though his messmates fall around him, nothing can his soul affright. But behold, a ball has struck him, see the crimson current flow. Leave the deck, exclaim, brave Perry, no cried word, I will not go. Here on deck I've took my station, there will bird his colors fly. I'll stand by the noble captain till we conquer or we die. So he fought both faint and bleeding till our stars and stripes arose. Victory having crowned his efforts, all triumphant o'er his foes. And did Bird receive a pension? Was he to his friends restored? No, nor even to his bosom class the maiden whom he adored. But there came most dismal tidings from Lake Erie's distant shore. Better if poor bird had perished mid the battle's awful roar. Dearest parents, said the latter, this will bring sad news to you. Do not mourn your fair beloved, though this brings his last ado. I must suffer for deserting from the brig Niagara. 
Read this letter, brother, sister, tis the last you'll hear from me. Sad and gloomy was the morning, bird was ordered out to die. Where the breast dares not to pity, for him would not he. <laughs>